Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit. I'm here with my new videos in Salesforce Flows. The topic for today's video is that how do we upload files using Flows in Salesforce and those files will be going to save as an attachments. So this is one of the common requirements in many organizations is to upload the files as a part of a business process. So either we can upload the files directly as an attachment within a record, or else we can use the Salesforce Lightning Flows, which provides an easy and efficient way to automate the business process and gather data. So let's begin with this. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates on the latest reports, latest videos. So in order to uh, in order to begin with this activity, first of all, let me switch to my Salesforce org. So that's my Salesforce platform, Salesforce environment. And the requirement is like this. I just wanted to create a flow for a particular, or you can say, I just want to add a flow and that flow we will be going to add. We can add that flow with multiple objects. So that flow will not be limited to a particular object. So the, say, that flow we can use with any object. So let's see how do we do that, how to work with that. So therefore, for this, I will be going to open flows. First of all, I just type in flows and open flows. And the process is very simple. We have to, in order to upload the files from the lightning flows, the process is very simple. Number one, we have to create an input screen in the flow to capture the file details, such as the file name, file type, and file content. And then we will uh, uh, then we will upload that file or the, save that file as an attachment with the related record. So let's do let's have a look how do we do that. So I click on new flow. And so first of all, I will be going to create a variable in a flow. And okay, so before that, first of uh, the thing is we have to create a screen flow. We will select click on screen flow because we need to get input from user. We need to upload the file from our local system, local drive. So I select screen flow and click on create. And uh, as I mentioned that first of all, we will be going to create a variable to store the record ID from the record page. So therefore, I'm going to create a new resource as a variable. And I label that variable name as I name that variable name as record ID. Record ID. Data type will be text. And I'll just make it available for both input and output. And done. So the, this is the variable I created. And the, the purpose of this variable is to capture the record ID. Because as I told you that this flow will be going to place on a record page. So therefore, for that particular record ID, that will be going to store into this record ID. Next is we need to create the screen element. So let's create a screen element here. Click on plus sign and click on a screen. And uh, let me label this screen element as, let's say, upload file screen. And I'm going to get rid of these uh, header and footer. So click on configure header and I remove this header and I remove this footer also. And now it's time to uh, it's time to drag and drop the upload file. So there's an inbuilt component called upload file, file upload actually. So I just click on the component and this component will be placed on our screen. Now there are a few settings which we have to customize. So the first is the file name. So I'll just label this as upload file, CM, upload file. That's a label. So I'll just write here file upload, file upload, except format. You can see the label file upload and upload files. The format which is the format which is accepted. So I'm going to set the format that this format, the PDF will be accepted. It should be dot PDF uh, dot PDF single quotes comma single quotes dot PNG comma single quotes dot JPG JPG. That's a Except, uh, expect, accepted format. Then allow multiple files. Yes, I just want to set this to true because we would like to upload multiple files at the same time. And 
the version ID is not related, but the related record ID is required. So in this related record ID, I will be going to set the record ID variable, which we created in the previous step. That's all we have to do. So that's the settings for this file up. Click on done. Save this. I label this as file upload flow. And I'm going to activate it. So I click on activate. And in order to test this flow, let's see, I'm going to place this flow. First, I'll place this flow. I add this flow on an uh, on a account record page. So I click on account. And let's open any record. Let's open an account record. And I will be going to add that component here. So edit page. edit page and I will be going to add that component. So that's a flow. So this is the flow. So drag and drop this flow component. And the flow name is file upload flow. So from here I select file upload flow. File upload flow. And don't forget to check this option pass record ID into this variable because if you remember we have created a variable here a variable this record ID and this record ID variable we map with this file upload uh, related record ID. So this helps to pass the ID of the current record and based on that uh, whenever we upload a file that file will save as an attachment. Let me save this back and now let's test it and in order to test it you can see my flow will be successfully placed here so I click on upload file and let's suppose I select a file as flow uh, any file. I click on open. You can say file flow3.png and PNG format is accepted. It's, it's, it comes, uh, it's in the ex, uh, accepted format. Click on done. And when I refresh, when I refresh the record, or when I refresh this whole record, you can see this, that particular record has been added as an attachment. So you can scroll down and see attachment. See flow3 attachment. See that? So on 5th October, this is the this is the file which we uploaded just now. So like this way, we can you by using flows, we can upload a file and save that file as an attachment within a record. So that's all in this video. That's all for the day. If you find this video helpful or interesting. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the ring the notification bell. Also, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might get benefit from it. And of course, leave your thoughts or questions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.